How to make a class schedule in Canva. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be walking you through how to make a class schedule for completely free. All you'll need to do is go onto canva.com and from there you can sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, I want you to tap on the search bar and I want you to type in class schedule. After you have done that, you are going to tap on enter. And the reason why we are doing this is, with Canva, you'll be able to edit numerous templates that they provide, so they make it quite easy for you to create an eye-catching schedule. So all you'll need to do is scroll down and you can select one of your liking. And by the way, any one of them that you see with the pro sign right here, that means that you'd have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular schedule. But there are numerous free ones that you can choose from. As you can see right here, by scrolling down, you can see the different options, as you can see here. So all you would need to do is tap on one that you like. So let's say, for example, I want to use this one. I'll simply tap on it. Then you'll see a preview of how it looks. And you will also see similar class schedule to that particular one. Then you are going to tap on customize this template. After tapping on customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new page. And from here, we'll be able to start editing our class schedule. The first thing I want you to pay attention to is you can see the class schedule that we selected on the canvas right here. And you can also see from the left hand menu option, you will see elements. Elements means that if you would like to add anything that you want to search for or so on, you could do it in this section. So let's say, for example, you want to add a chart board or so on. Just for example sake, let's say we want to add a desk to it. All we'll need to do is type in teacher's desk, as you can see right there. After you have done that, you'll see numerous graphics and photos that you can use. So let's say I want to add a little dex to this section. All I would need to do right here, I'll simply tap on the graphic. Then I could minimize it as you can see right here. So I could minimize it. And you can see that I've added a little dex right here to my class schedule. So anything that you would like to search for, you can do that in elements. Also, if you would like to upload something to add in the background or so on, you could tap on upload right there. If you would like to add text, you can tap on text also. So let's say we want to change the background. All we'll need to do is tap on the background section as you can see right here. And we can change the color or we could add a background image. For this example, I'll simply change the color. And to do that, all you'll need to do is tap on the color box in the top left hand corner. After you have tapped on the color box, you could select the color that you would like to change it to. So let's say for example sake, I want to change it to blue. So you can see right there. Also, if you would like to remove an image, all you have to do is tap on the image. Then you'll tap on the trash can to remove it. So you can see right there. And I'll also be showing you how to create a class schedule from a blank page. So I'll tap on add page right here. After you have tapped on add page, if you would like to create a new class schedule, all you would need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Once in the left hand menu option, you are going to select elements again. After selecting elements, you could type in weekly schedule. So let, we, let us do that real quick. So you could do that here. After doing that, you will see numerous images that you can use. So all you'll have to do right where you see graphic, you could tap on see all. After tapping on see all, you can see the various options. But majority of these, you'd have to be on the paid plan to use. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to tap on design. And from there, you could type in schedule. And you can see the different scheduling templates. So we can select a different template. So let's say, for example, I want to use this template. I could simply tap on it. And again, you'll be able to add the changes depending on your liking. So for example, if you would like to change the background, all you have to do is select the background, as you can see right here. 
simply tap to select the background. Once you have done that, you could go up to the top right hand corner, tap on the color box. Then you can select the color that you would like to use for your background. As you can see, the background color has changed. And you can also change the text by simply tapping on the text box. You could add or remove text if you want. And also you can see it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you would like to change any section, you can do that. All you have to do is tap on the particular section. So if you would like to change the color of the boxes, you can also do that. If you would like to add more boxes, you can do that by simply tapping on the box. Then you'll tap on the two boxes right beside the trash can that says duplicate. After you have duplicated it, you could simply pull it down. As you can see right here, if you would like to add a box right below it, you can do that as you can see right here. So you can add more boxes if you want. And you can also move the current boxes. So if you would like to move Monday further up and then move the boxes further up, you can also do that as you can see right here. There are numerous editing options you can use when it comes on to Canva, which is why Canva is so popular. All you'll need to do now, after you're finished creating your class schedule to your liking, you'll tap on share in the top right hand corner. After tapping on share, you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on download. Once you have selected download from there, you will see pages and you can select whether you like to print both pages or one page. Then you'll tap on download and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.